Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today I have a romance book haul for y'all. So I have a big stack of books right here. It might not seem like a lot, but it's a lot for me. I have not really been buying books this year, honestly. Um, so I'm very fortunate that some of these were sent or gifted to me. I'm so very grateful. But yeah, these are all of the books that I have uh, gotten or received since wanderlust in september let's get into it i have no particular order for this i'm just gonna go in the order of the stack first on top is this book this is underneath the sycamore tree by uh b celeste i believe this book is already out even though this says that this is an advanced reader's copy and it comes out on january 3rd i think it probably is going to be traditionally published i believe this book has been on KU and was indie published by the author. Um, but Madison over at Princess of Paperback ended up sending this book to me on a whim. So thank you so much, Madison. But I've heard good things about this. I know there's disability rep in here, specifically autoimmune disease, I believe, right? Yes, autoimmune, which I have an autoimmune disease. So it scares me a little bit to read a book that has an autoimmune disease that could possibly kill someone who knows maybe one day I'll be brave and pick this one up because I know that this is some of my friends like favorite romance book ever this new cover is stunning even though I do love the old cover as well because if I can show this is the old cover this is the new one so it is being published by Bloom Books so thank you so much Madison for sending this one my way this has definitely been on my radar and so I'm so excited to have a physical copy of it my lovely friend Kate if you remember Kate here here we are. <laughs> she went to Wanderlust with me, actually. Um, and she was so sweet. We go to college together, by the way. Um, I'm graduating a semester before her. I'm graduating in a couple of weeks, and she's graduating in May, I'm pretty sure. And um, she was so sweet and gifted me some things for my graduation, which she did not have to do. But a few of those gifts were books. She got me three books, um, so I'll share them with you. And they have little like sticky notes on them for reasons why she bought them for me. This first one, ooh, let me take the sticky note off. This is um, Alexis Hall's new book, which is Paris Dallincourt is about to crumble. Sorry, I, I have a hard time reading that. Um, but yeah, this is Alexis Hall's a newest release. I've heard amazing things about Alexis Hall, especially from my lovely friend Brie. And so I'm really excited to read this, but her little sticky note in here <laughs> said, because you like to bake. She got me this one. So thank you so much, Kate. Um, she also got me this one, which I've never heard about before. This is The Partner Track by Helen Wan. Um, this is apparently a Netflix series. I had no clue, but I'm definitely going to go look up the TV show after after this um because i have no idea what this is about but that cover is so pretty look at that and then this one says because you have to work hard to get what you want <laughs> and then the last one that she got me is <laughs> this one that says um always be my duchess by amelie howard look how pretty this one is i've read an emily howard before and i have one of her books actually two now well this is the third one what i mean but like look how cute they look on the cover i have no idea what this one is about but i'm so excited to read it and this one says uh because you love historicals so thank you so much kate she she's so sweet she gifted me this um she also got me two other things they're not bookish related so i won't share them with you but they were all amazing like she, she did not have to give me anything so thank you so much kate i am so 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 grateful for our friendship and that we became friends in college she's like my only friend besides my roommate in college so <laughs> so i'm very excited to hopefully read these books and then chat with her about them oh my gosh speaking of kate i totally forgot she also got me this book <laughs> She got me Bad Guy by Ruby Dixon from my Ruby Dixon collection. Um, this is her Gladiator alien romance book that is really good. I love this one. But yeah, no, she was so sweet and gifted me this, I believe, a little bit after like Wanderlust just because. And she's so sweet. The note says, I love you. Thank you for being amazing. <laughs> So thank you so much, Kate, again. Um, but yeah, I am so excited to have this for my Ruby collection. This one is just so good. It's one of my favorite reads of the year. I love it so much. I have like a gruff, broody gladiator who totally falls for this tiny human woman. It's so cute. Another Ruby Dixon that I decided to pick up is Barbarian's Prize because I didn't have this version yet. I think I'm going to try and purchase all of the old covers uh, slowly before each new cover release. My only issue is, oh my gosh, I don't have the old versions of 
book two and book three. And so I don't know if I will ever get those. I have the new versions of them, but who knows, maybe before I die, I will find the old versions of book two and book three. But um, if you ever want to sell yours, DM me on Instagram. Yeah, I kind of want the old covers as well as the new ones. And the new one for this one just came out. I'll show you a picture. It looks stunning. I love it. Um, so this one is about Tiffany and Saluk, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's Saluk. Yes, Saluk. I love how I remembered these alien names. There's like 22 books. <laughs> anyway, um, so Luke and Tiffany, this is our first friends to lovers in here. And one of the first books in this series where the resonance is not immediate off the bat, they resonate after they've already become friends and something more. So it's gonna be like a thing of mine now, I guess, to purchase the book in the series that comes out with a new cover before the new cover is released. So. Uh, I'm gonna get this one and then hopefully later on down the line I'll get the new version of this one and hopefully find the old versions of book two and um book three. I then also picked up It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover on release day. Um, it was really funny because I went to my uh college bookstore like I never go there because it's very out of the way for me but I went there because I had to pick up my cap and gown so the one day that I go there this book is is being released. I totally forgot about this release, this release day. I've heard some mixed things now about this book since it being released, so we'll see whenever I get to this one, but it ends with this as one of my favorite romances ever, and so we'll see when I actually get to this one. <laughs> Next, I got A Liar by Fiona Cole. This was sent to me by uh, Valentine PR. They are so nice and just send random fun books to me and they do it like on a whim like oh here you go here's just one i'm like oh my gosh thank you so much so this is actually my first physical copy of a fiona cole i've only read voyeur by fiona cole and my friends who've heard this story know the story of um me reading voyeur and it scarring me for the rest of my life not because of the contents within the book because of the situation i was in when i read it so that's a story for another day because i don't think i can talk about it right now <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, but Fiona Cole for a little bit there had me like just like scarred mentally to read one of her books, but I think I'm now, I'm now okay. I can get back into them. And I do know that some of my friends love this book and love the rest of the Voyeur series. I think all of the books in the Voyeur, in this series, Voyeur series, take place at the club that Voyeur takes place in. And I'm actually going to be meeting Fiona Cole in June of next year, so hopefully I can Oop, that's falling out. Hopefully I can read this one and the other books in the series. The next four books are from one person and I am astonished that she got me all of these books. She did not have to. My lovely friend Caitlin from The Love Librarian. I freaking love her so much. We've gotten closer this year in these past couple months actually, like the past like three months we've gotten like really close and um, there was a moment I was having a really bad week, like a really bad week and Caitlin was just like, here you go. I bought these four books for you. Like, Caitlin. <laughs> I love her so much. She did not have to do this whatsoever. I'm so thankful for our friendship, Caitlin, and so glad that we became friends. I love you so much. You did not have to do this. <laughs> and yeah, I'm I'm very excited to have these in my collection. And I love you so much. And thank you for being my friend. First one that she got me is Rafe by Re Rebecca Weatherspoon. I love this book. Okay, this is a male nanny romance. Rafe in here is the male nanny. He gets hired by Sloane to nanny her, um, I believe twin daughters. He is very honest right up front. He's like, just so you know, I am very attracted to you. I am very into you. And uh, you can choose not to hire me because of that, but I just wanted to let you know. And she's like, oh, okay. I love you telling me this. Um, and they have some fun together. <laughs> And then it turns into something more, obviously. Rafe is so spoony. I freaking love him. Caitlin also got me the last book that I needed for my Bergman Brothers series collection. She got me Ever After Always by Chloe Lees, The Romance Between Freya, and Aiden. Aiden, right. This is the Marriage and Trouble romance here. And it's technically a Bergman sister romance. She's the Bergman sister. <laughs> but yeah, this is book three in the series. And Caitlin has now gotten me like two books in this series. She's gifted me two books in this series, I'm pretty sure. So thank you, Caitlin. You're keeping my Bergman brother love like alive. She also got me Hidden Truths by Neva Altaj. <laughs> I absolutely love Neva Altaj so much. <laughs> this is the third book in her Mafia Romance Perfectly Imperfect series that I am just obsessed with. Um, I feel like her writing just keeps getting better and better. This is book three. I just read the arc for book five fan freaking tastic five stars i freaking loved it anyway this one is really good as well this one is between 
uh, Sergey and Angelina. And Sergey is dealing with some stuff and he ends up kind of saving Angelina from this kidnapping situation, I think. Uh, but then he kidnaps her himself. Like he, he keeps her in his house. She helps him keep the demons at bay that are in his brain. And it's just so good. I love this one and all the other books in the series. And then Caitlin lastly got me Southern Storms by Brittany Cherry. Thank you so much, Caitlin. I love this book. I read this one this year. I love Brittany Cherry so much. And yeah, this one is a childhood friends to lovers romance. It's a grumpy sunshine, small town. I really enjoyed this one. So thank you so much, Caitlin, for gifting me all four of these books. I love you so much. My lovely friend McKay from Oh Hey It's McKay also gifted me a book. Um, it's She said on the note it was a little bit of a late birthday present and her birthday just happened. So happy late birthday, McKay. Um, but she decided to pick up a Ruby Dixon for me. This is Enticed by the Corsair by Ruby Dixon, which is my favorite book in her Corsair series. This one is really good, but there are some triggerings in here. Our human woman has been kidnapped and tortured by some evil aliens. She has lost her vision because they brutalized her in that area, completely cut up that area of her face, and she's not able to see anymore. And this hero, our space pirate here, he saves her and claims her as his and just wants the best for her. And I freaking love him so much. This romance is so wonderful and amazing, full of healing and love. So stinking good. Thank you so much, McKay, for gifting this one for me. I am so excited to have it for my collection and hopefully we'll have Ruby sign it coming in June. <laughs> so next is kind of like a dual set. So Mel from Mel Bynes Fix on Instagram, she reached out to me and wanted to send me some books of hers that she bound. She did not write these, she bound them. And they are stunning. So I thought I'd share them with you. These are fan fictions. Um, written by the same person. Um, but this is Finding Himself by Minnie Sinu? Minnie Sinu? I'm so sorry. I don't know how to pronounce the author's name. But Mel binded, binded this fan fiction. Like, hello? This is what it looks like Oof. with the dust jacket off. So cool. There's this charm of bookmark in it too. And it is just so stinking pretty. All of the pages are here. It is so cool. Um, I was, cause we were on like a live show, I think. And Mel was like, I was talking about how I wanted to pick this fic up, but it's like so long and it's on fanfiction.net. It's not on AO3. So you can't download it onto your phone. Like you can't on a fanfiction for AO3. She's like, I'll make one for you and send it to you. I was like, oh my gosh, you're amazing. So um, yeah, look how stunning. She commissioned an artist also to create this design, but um, this is the fan fiction romance between Hermione and Cedric. So with that one also came, I believe the companion, like second book in there. I don't know how to pronounce this title, but it's by the same author. We have another little chain, another stunning cover. This one is really cool too. It's like, look at this. Look at that. It has the spine too like it is stunning it is so cool thank you so much mel for sending these my way like these are honestly gorgeous if y'all are not following her on instagram yet you need to all of her binds are stunning i know she has a bunch more binds she has one for a manacle that some of my friends have been loving but thank you so much for sending me these two books mel you are so talented. And then the last thing that I'd love to mention are actually some merch items. So I was actually sent some items from Sophie Lark's team and they sent me a few things. So I thought I'd share them with you. Uh, first off, we have this. So if you see any dog hair and cat hair, by the way, this is a house of animals. So if you see any, that's the trouble with black stuff is hair gets everywhere. So if you see hair, I'm so sorry. But this is a bag that says uh, Love Larks. Little tote bag it's so cute next is this is the stuff that's probably gonna be covered in hair next is a hoodie this is a lark hoodie and then this one says raylan on the back from pearl birthright i love it yes that is covered in hair i apologize but this is such a comfy hoodie and i freaking love raylan so and then back here <laughs> is her kingmaker blanket it's so big i can't really show you like the whole thing but i've been loving like snuggling up with this um let me freaking open it so you can see their faces oh here's where's leo leo is here <laughs> leo's here under the air <laughs> and then you have just like all the boys from the series going across 
I know that one's Dean. And then there's the spy one down there. And then the last thing I have is this mug. This one says, I saw you and you woke me up inside. Look how cute. Thank you so much for sending this stuff my way. Sophie's team, I am so incredibly, incredibly excited to have these things. Like I've been carrying this blanket with me like everywhere. I haven't even read the Kingmaker series because I have to finish um, like the Ivan Snow. I think it's the Underworld. I think that's what's called the Underworld series. I have to finish that series before I read the Kingmakers. So um, I haven't even read the Kingmakers yet, but I freaking love this blanket <laughs> and I've been living in this hoodie, honestly. So thank you so, so much for sending those items my way. I really, really, really appreciate it. Anyways, there you have it. That was a bookish haul for you. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. Thank you so much if you sent anything from this stack my way. I love and appreciate you so much. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me the book stack emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I'll see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.